वेलकम टू द चैनल तो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑन कोड फोर्सेस राउंड नाइन वन फोर व्हिच इज फॉग तो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट लंच बॉक्स इज डन विद प्लेइंग चेस इस क्वीन एंड किंग जस्ट गॉट फॉग डबल इन चेस अ फॉग इज व्हेन अ नाइट अटैक्स टू पीसेस ऑफ हायर वैल्यू कॉमनली द किंग एंड द क्वीन हैज नोज दैट द नाइट्स कैन बी ट्रिकी and in version of chess that he is playing knights are even trickier instead of moving one tile in one direction and two tiles in the other knights in lunch box modified game moves a tiles in one direction b tiles in the other lunch box is playing chess on a infinite chess board which contains all cells x comma y where x comma y are possibly negative integers Now lunch box king and queen are placed on cells x k comma y k and x q comma y q respectively. Find the number of positions such that if a knight was placed on that cell, it would attack both king and queen. So here we are given the position of king and queen, and also our knight is not moving one tile in one direction and two tile in other as it is in normal chess. it can move a tiles in one direction b tiles in the other so we have both the possible combinations for the knight it can be a comma b and it also can be b comma a means it can move x plus a y plus b or Plus b, y plus a, and same for the negative sign. So hence, if we take all the directions, then then eight directions are possible. So now let's move to the test cases. So the first test cases, we have two comma one. So our A is two, and B is one, and we have for king zero comma zero, and for queen we have three comma three. Now, when our knight is placed on Two comma one or one comma two, it can attack both the king and queen. As here it is shown pictorially, so you can analyze this better. Also, you can see the other test cases here as well in this format. So now, what's the approach to solve this question? So uh, first, let's understand. That a knight can move. Suppose I have this case only, and my knight is placed on two comma one. So it can move two in upward direction, or two in di downward direction, or two in left, or two in right. and you can also observe that when we have this 3 comma 3 so 3 minus and 3 minus 2 it gives us 2 comma 1 and for king adding a and b to both 0 comma 0 Give us two comma one. So we can't decide the position of the knight as it is an infinite chessboard. So what we can do is we can calculate all the pos possible positions of king and queen if they move in all the possible eight directions formed by a comma b. So the eight directions would be if 
I have is x is times y by k. So my position would be x k plus i into a. This is x k position. And next would be y k plus j into b. And here i and j both ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 inclusive. So this gives us all the direction. Same you can apply to q. Now after this you will also need to find another 4 pairs because these are only the 4 pairs which we get from here. So the next four pairs will be this difference is i into b and yk plus j into a because a and b can be either rows or column so we need to take both the cases. So here instead of b we will write a and there instead of a we will write b and hence we will get all the pairs. Now once we get all these pairs we will store them in the list and also we will st store the pairs of q in the list and then what we can do just take the set of the elements we got from k so let it be e of k and from same for the set of q and then check which element appears in both of these sets. The element which appears in both of these sets is the position at which a knight can be there. So if you take the common set, you will get 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 for the first chess case. And when you are considering the position, also for each position increase your counter to 1 so this will give you the answer so your answer would be C by counting the number of positions so I hope you all understand the solution thanks for